Welcome back. <clears throat> My name is Deidre and I am with Bunk Cook. I am your Bunk Cook consultant. And today I am going to make my first ever old fashioned brown sugar cake. Don't know what it is. I know it's cake, but other than that, I don't know much about it. So I'm going to walk you through some of the items, Bunk Cook items I'm using, and then we're going to get started. So the first thing I'm using is the Bunk Cook mixing bowl. I love it because it has a handle. So when you're mixing, it's really easy to hold on to. I love that. The second thing is our spiral bun mold. And I'm using this one just because the one I saw online was made with a butt mold. So I'm using our bun mold. And I'm using the spiral because I love the design when it comes out. So I'm using this mold. And then I'm using it on top of our perforated baking sheet. So that will go on there. And then I do have like our measuring trio. I have our pinch bowls. And then I have some of our spatulas that we have too. Our rubber spatulas. So going off the recipe, it says to preheat the oven. It's already started. We're good there. It says to grease and flour a fluted tube pan. So when you use bone cook, the great thing is you don't have to grease it and you don't have to flour it. It's going to be great the way it is and it will come out real easy anyways. So I don't have to grease or flour. So it's good to go. So now I'm going to combine brown sugar right here. Now the brown sugar, it says 16 ounces of brown sugar. And so I have a big bag. So that is two and a fourth cups of brown sugar. So I'm going to do two cups. And it says to put it in a bowl in order to use an electric mixer. And so I am actually going to use my KitchenAid mixer to do this. So there's one cup. Two cups. And then I have a fourth cup here also. And then I'm done with brown sugar after I do that. It then says to add butter. And before you do the butter, it says that you need to make sure that it's room temperature. So mine has been room temperature. It's softened for them. And you cream it. So that means you're going to turn it on and let it mix up until they cream together. Now while that's going, I'm going to get the next bowl ready. It says in a separate bowl, you're going to whisk flour, baking soda, and salt together. So my flour, you need two and a half cups of flour. Now, it says to put baking soda with it. So baking soda I have right here and it's one teaspoon. We're gonna stop this real quick and get the butter out of here. Let it get back in there and turn it back on. Because remember, it has to be creamy and it's not creamy there. It's not yet creamy. that in and then I have salt right here pour that in this says to whisk it okay so I'm gonna whisk I'm gonna mix it up make sure it's really good now it wants me in another bowl so that's why I have this bowl it wants me to put buttermilk which is right here and for buttermilk, you need a total of one cup. So I have buttermilk. I'm going to do one cup of buttermilk. Okay. And then it says to do vanilla extract and almond extract. I actually substituted my almond extract 
almond extract for vanilla extract. So I have more vanilla extract because my daughter-in-law is allergic to almond extract because it's a peanut from a tree. So I'm putting this in here. And I'm going to mix this up now. So I'm just going to mix it up. Kind of makes it a little brown tint to it. Now it says everything we do is now going to be with the KitchenAid mixer. So we have these two dry ingredients and wet ingredients separated. So now we are going, I'm going to take the KitchenAid mixer. I'm going to move it closer to me. We're going to finish this. Okay, so now it's creamy. So creamy is just like that. So it's just a creamy little mixture. Now in this mixture though, before I add anything else in it, it wants me to add eggs one at a time until they're well blended. So we're gonna add first egg and I'll let this stir as I'm adding the eggs to it. Making sure we have to clean the side of the bowl as we go. Okay, so now we have this mixture is ready. It has the eggs, brown sugar, and butter. We have a bowl of the flour, baking soda, and salt. And then in a separate bowl, we have the vanilla extract and almond extract separate. I did just vanilla with the buttermilk. These are going to get added to the electric mixer. So add the flour and buttermilk mi mixtures going back and forth. So I'm going to add this one to the cream mixture first. And then I'm going to add some of this mixture to it. And we're going to let it stir in between. So I'm going to turn it on. Maybe slower. I'm gonna add a little bit of this one. I'm gonna add a little bit of this one. Scrape the outside of the bowl to make sure everything gets in there. 
It's really creamy looking, like it looks really good. Almost looks like homemade ice cream. That's what it reminds me of right now. Okay, I'm gonna put the bowl back up, let it stir a little longer, and then we're gonna put it in our mold. So if I have too much for this one, I'll get another mold out and put it in there. But the one I want you guys to watch is the spiral bond mold because it comes out so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to take this, just lay it here for now. We're going to give this a pour to the spiral bond mold. If you watch it I go in, just so creamy. Now remember when you put it into a mold, you want to make sure it's evenly around it. Of course, I'll even it out as I get it all in there. too much we're gonna put it all in there and see how big this gets is what we're gonna do okay so I have it in the bond mold And I'm going to put this in the oven and it's going to be in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes or until you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about an hour and then when we come back I will show you how I turn it out of the mold. And remember I didn't grease the mold or flour the mold but I want to show you how easily it comes out. And then I'll also show you the ganache I am making for the top of it. I don't know what people usually put on brown cake, but we're going to use chocolate ganache on ours. So let me get this into the oven. So. In the oven it goes. And again, we'll be back once it's done. Thank you. And welcome back. The cake is now done. So I am going to show you how easy it comes out of the spiral bond mold. Um, remember I didn't flour, I didn't put flour in, I didn't grease it or anything. So I'm going to show you that. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and start the milk heating up for our chocolate ganache. Um, I don't know how you guys eat the brown cake, but we really like it with, we like to eat our cake with something on top of it. And so that's what we are doing. So to make the chocolate ganache, it's real simple. I'm going to use about a cup of heavy whipping cream, and then I am going to um, use some chocolate chips after I heat up the whipping cream. I'm going to heat up the whipping cream so that when I add the chocolate chips, it will melt the chocolate chips and I can just whisk it together. And I'll leave that right there for now. So I'm going to use this mini cake mold. And then with the cake mold, I'm going to put on top of it our bond mat, but it's an octagonal bond mat that becomes like a lid for it. I put it on top like this and I'm going to put it in the microwave 
I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds to start with and see how hot it gets. And we'll go from there. Okay, so why that's cooking though, or why that's warming up, I'm going to show you how easy this cake comes out of the bottom room. I mean, I didn't grease it, I didn't use flour or anything. And you know that when you use most cake things, if you don't grease or flour them, it sticks like crazy. This will not do that. So I am using one of my cake holders. So there's a brown cake. I'm going to take it on top. I'm going to sit it on there like this. I'm going to let it sit for just a minute to loosen up around there. I'm going to check our milk. Yep, 30 more seconds for the milk, or buttermilk, I should say. I'm going to go ahead and get chocolate chips open. Okay, so this is sat there. I'm going to kind of gently tap it. It is a little warm still. Um, and you want to try to make sure that it is cooled all the way before you reveal it. So we may let this cool a little bit. Okay, the milk should be done now. Let's check it. We're going to check the temperature of this with our handy handy thermometer. Oh yeah, it should be good. So I did it for a minute. I ended up having to do it for a minute for it to get the full heat that we're going to need. So we are going to pour some chocolate chips in. Pour them in a little bit at a time. Then once they're in, I have a mini whisk that we sell with Bon Cook. I'm going to whisk it together. Now if you find that it's not quite hot enough to actually melt those chocolate chips, then you're just going to want to put it in the microwave a little bit longer just to get those melted. You want to do a little bit at a time, but you want more because you want it to be kind of thicker. Otherwise, it's going to be real like runny. So you want to make sure that it's thick. Okay. Okay. So mine is, it's warm enough to melt them. So see how it's melted a little bit. So it is melting. I may stick it in the microwave for just a few seconds. Um, Cause like I said, I want to make sure they get really melted. Yep, I need to stick it in there for a little bit cause the milk is melting it, but not quite melting it enough for me. So I'm going to, Take that out and put the bond mat back on top. I'm going to do it for 30 seconds and see if that does it for what I need. Okay, now we're going to reveal. Okay, so now you know that I have no oil, no grease, nothing in this. Let's see how this comes out. I can grab a hold of the side of it. So you just want to release it. And once you do that, look at that brown cake. Look how beautiful that turned out. That is so good looking. I'm gonna turn on that, oh, sorry. Turn on this light. I'm gonna bring you in closer. So I want you to see how beautiful that turned out to be. That is amazing. Now, I am definitely going to take a picture of this. I will post it on my Facebook page um, so people can see the cake and how well it looks. So I'm actually not going to pour the ganache on top of it yet because I want to make sure I have a beautiful picture of this cake because it is beautiful, okay? Now here's the ganache. Now again, the ganache is still melting. It's still coming together. I'm still adding chocolate chips and mixing it together. Once I get that done, what I do is I pour it on top of it. Or you can wait until you cut it and give it to people and then pour it on top. It's up to you. So 
that is the brown cake recipe, old fashioned brown cake with a chocolate ganache that I've made. And it was done in the spiral bond mold, which you can find at djagger.bondcook.com. And then also the bond mat and the mini cake mold and mini whisk. Thanks for watching.